okay so we're back and uh, we're gonna try to do the pursuit now so for the actual routing I think given that this I mean you can't route there because it's closer to it's in this zone of control so it has to route here and then this hex is actually just two hexes away whereas this is three so definitely going here and then I don't think it really matters so so that's one two three four five six so it's ending up close to Mori okay now for the pursuit uh, first we have a dance after combat and one of these must enter this hex so for the actual pursuit now so advance after combat I need to move in with one unit here I think I will move with this guy and then you can normally change phasing for free but this is a cavalier so you can't do that but on the, at the beginning of the pursuit you can do it if you face the hex where okay so this unit now uh, has to I will roll I will actually face change facing change at the beginning of the pursuits it's still facing the hex where the unit retreated and now I'll roll for pursuit the problem is this guy is disordered, so if he fails his recall he will be shaken, but I can also try to recall right now before he actually starts. Since I will only be able to move one hex, I can I will be able to reduce this unit by one step. So let's see how many pursuit points I get. Four. Uh it can move there one hex and it's stopped so it's one two pursuit points one, two because of the creek and now it has to recall because it's in enemy zone of control so because of that because they advanced one hex I eliminate an additional strength point here So you can see that this can be really dangerous if you're not if you don't have units blocking the pursuit. That's another another French loss here. And then that roll for recall. And now I have some I advanced one hex, so that's plus five. I'm in enemy zone of control, so that's plus ten, so plus fifteen. And this is an efficiency rating of twenty-three. Twenty-three plus fifteen that's forty no that's thirty-eight so I rolled forty-four so it's fine it's only disordered still and it's the end of um, this wing activation And now I will roll for initiative again. Actually, I will mark how many routed. So we have the French here has five strength points left that are routed. So I just marked it off uh, to keep track of how many strength points are routed. Uh, you don't need to keep track of that. I mean, you can calculate it whenever you do the army morale check, but. Um, I guess it's easier if you keep track during the time. This is a French activation. And for and it's an end turn. So we're getting closer to the end of the turn here. And uh, I think I will Maybe activate some of these cavalry units here. The second thought, I will activate this wing here. Berenger's wing. And he should be in command from Maréchal de Saxe. And uh, the units that I have here is this regiment, this regiment, 
I could also activate, because he's stacked with this independent cavalry leader, I can also activate them in the same activation. But I think I will not do that. They will... I think they will stay there. Or maybe they should try to go up. Yeah, I will activate the, the cavalry as well. Okay. So for... This is... Um, Colonel Salancy, his brigade contains these uh, Normandy units. And I will try to form a better line with these units here in the village. So I have uh, this guy will just one, two, do a facing change. One, two, three. And then this guy will move up one, two, three. Okay, move him a little bit closer to these units. Activate um, Guerchi's brigade. This guy is going to go here. One, two, three for extension. So one for extension and pay their terrain cost. And then. Uh, this cavalry up here. This is Grishi's regiment as well. They will form a hook. And now I think I will move this cavalry here, but I will do that off the screen. Um, get back to you in the next video.